Timberlake Tourism, a critical examination of the hype in Sag Harbor. The recent incident involving Justin Timberlake's arrest for a DWI after consuming a martini at the American Hotel has surprisingly sparked a peculiar trend among tourists and partygoers. This phenomenon, informally dubbed Timberlake Tourism, has seen an influx of visitors to the Sag Harbor establishment, eager to sip the same cocktail that the sexy back singer purportedly enjoyed before his run-in with the law. This development offers a fascinating lens through which to examine the intersections of celebrity culture, tourism, and local business dynamics. The allure of celebrity culture is potent and pervasive, often driving individuals to seek out experiences associated with their idols. In this case, the American Hotel has become an unlikely epicenter of curiosity and amusement. Daniel and Jessica Evans, a couple from North Carolina, explicitly visited the hotel to partake in what they termed the JT Special. This act of emulation underscores the broader societal inclination to find connection and novelty through the mimicking of celebrity behaviors, even those tied to controversial or negative incidents. The phenomenon raises critical questions about the nature of such tourism. Is the appeal rooted in a genuine admiration for Timberlake, or is it more about the novelty and humor of partaking in a now infamous experience? The mention of the couple encountering others who referred to the martini as the Justin and shared a collective amusement suggests that the latter might hold true. This shared experience, albeit trivial, offers a sense of community among fans and tourists, albeit one steeped in irony and light-hearted mockery. From an economic perspective, the influx of visitors to the American Hotel can be seen as a boon for local business. Longtime local Bob D'Andrea notes the increased foot traffic due to the hype surrounding the incident, suggesting that such attention could be beneficial for the town's economy. However, this raises concerns about the sustainability and appropriateness of capitalizing on a celebrity's legal troubles. Furthermore, the American Hotel staff appears to maintain a serious demeanor regarding the trend, with reports of bartenders exhibiting stone-faced compliance when faced with requests related to Timberlake. This reaction could be indicative of a desire to maintain the establishment's dignity and traditional appeal, rather than succumbing to the fleeting whims of pop culture. The trend also highlights the role of alcohol in social settings, particularly in a post-pandemic context. The martini, a symbol of sophistication and indulgence, has become a comforting staple for New Yorkers re-emerging into social life. The high alcohol content serves to ease the transition from isolation to interaction, providing a social lubricant in potentially awkward situations. This contextual backdrop adds another layer to the appeal of the Justin Martini, blending the allure of celebrity with the broader cultural resurgence of the cocktail. Moreover, the anecdote about Jessica Evans' father's wild night at the American Hotel three decades ago serves as a reminder of the establishment's storied history. It suggests that the hotel has long been a site of memorable, albeit unconventional, experiences. This historical continuity adds depth to the current trend, positioning the Timberlake incident as just another chapter in the hotel's colorful legacy. The commercialization of Timberlake's mugshot with prints being sold at local galleries and stores, further underscores the commodification of celebrity scandals. The fact that these prints, titled Tuesday Night Out, are selling briskly reflects society's fascination with and willingness to moneyize even the most unflattering moments of public figures. This trend raises ethical considerations about the exploitation of personal misfortune for commercial gain, and whether such practices contribute to a culture of insensitivity and trivialization of serious issues like drinking and driving. In conclusion, the surge in Timberlake tourism at the American Hotel is a multifaceted phenomenon that warrants critical examination. It encapsulates the powerful draw of celebrity culture, the economic impact on local businesses, and the broader social and cultural dynamics at play. While it provides a temporary boost to tourism and local commerce, it also prompts reflection on the ethical implications of capitalizing on a celebrity's legal troubles and the broader societal tendencies towards sensationalism and commodification.
As with many trends, its long-term impact remains to be seen, but it undoubtedly offers a compelling snapshot of contemporary cultural currents.